The ancient Egyptians built sculptures of their pharaohs, molding monuments out of stone and sweat and sun. The faces of their idols stood colossal above the dunes. By the time Napoleon came around, their deities were little more than pottery, crumbling into clay, and it's no wonder they say our society evolved from there. We are destined to be the cruelest of sculptors, spinning pretty faces between our hands until they sparkle, toss them out the back door when they fade, littering our gardens with shards of celebrity. All our glowing American idols reduced to fertilizer. We will abandon Marilyn Monroe, pink petunias blossoming from her porcelain throat. We love the dark glamour of your death more than any coy smile or birthday song. You are better pressed into petals of film. Age would have rendered you useless anyway. We will stretch Paris Hilton out like lattice work, lace her splintered intellect with peonies. You exist solely for our amusement. A pretty painted puppet with a bloated smile. Your desperation makes the children laugh. We will sew John F. Kennedy's teeth in neat white rows next to marigolds blooming from Brad Pitt's biceps. We play magazines for the marring of our idols, but we are the ones with iron hands and the thirst to dispose of expired stardom. Mary Magdalene, we will grow red lilies in the shallow basin of your womb. Your mortality was too messy for our holy book. Achilles, you were done when we found your weak spot. Heroes full of holes are worthless. We will wind morning glories purple around your ankles. Aretha, we will fill your lungs with hyacinths until your flaking voice box sings fuchsia. Your high notes will belong only to graveyards. We crave to reduce these icons into the simplicity of mausoleums and headstones, bearing no witness to their humanity. Only they're now shredded images, slumped like the sagging shoulders of tulips. Tupac's tattoos have gone to seed, his thug life dissolving in dandelions across the sunken barrel of his ribs. We can barely remember the fist beneath the ink. Now it is only royalties and rose garden. We turn the dirt of their graves to make room for new and more beautiful victims. James Dean, we will let the leather of your jackets rot into oleander. The rugged edges of your rebellion turning pink with age, proving that we let no heart for Blast. Is this sufficient memorial for the romance of your death? We won't let Michael Jackson fade into old newsprint. Our fascination with self-destruction and pop songs is so fleeting. His syringes will bloom into poinsettia scarlet clusters left to numb him even after death. Kurt Cobain, John Lennon, Jim Morrison. We let no God grasp the gift of being perennial. Instead, they become our playthings. But if a human's accomplishments are so flimsy, if a life can be tossed away like plastic and wilted bouquets, if our idols don't rest in peace, but in pointlessness, what kind of ruins will we leave behind? All right.